Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the live cast stage here at the PlayStation Experience. I'm joined by Andrew, and we are going to talk about some VR space combat in <laughs> EVE Valkyrie. We sure so are. This game, when you first look at it, it's like overwhelming. There's stuff flying everywhere. You can look all <laughs> around you. I'm probably going to die immediately because I'm too busy looking at all the beautiful scenery that's surrounding me. <laughs> talk to us a little bit about all the different classes when you get into this game as a fighter. Well, as you, as you launch out there, you, we've got three kind of main classes. We've got the fighters, we've got the heavies, and we've got the supports. So your fighters are kind of like a mid-range for speed and for armor, really high fire, fire, uh, firepower, if I get the words <laughs> out. Uh, and then we've got the heavy class, which is like a tank, you know, so the, those are built to take a lot of kind of a uh, lot of heat, but they also pack a punch when you get up close. Uh, and then we have the support class, which are like kind of our medic, you know, so they can do the healing and the buffing. Wonderful. Yeah. Now you guys actually offer both multiplayer and single modes. So talk to yeah. me a little bit about each of those and, and what makes them separate. Yeah, so so Valkyrie as is at its heart, you know, it's a competitive multiplayer VR shooter. But we also have some offline content there and it's mainly to help kind of pilots train. So we have some single player content that teaches some of the mechanics and the features that you'll be encountering in multiplayer. So we've got like a scout mode as well for people that just want to fly around so they don't want to do any shooting, they just want to go for a joyride, fly around the environments and take it all in. So so there's plenty of stuff in there. Wonderful. All right, so we're looking at some of the footage here of the game. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the new, this is our new uh, map that we are like kind of announcing for the first time today. So this is uh, a map we're calling uh, Gateway. Now this is at the center of the map is this huge kind of warp gate that we see. And you can actually warp end to end in this structure. And it's a huge kind of superstructure made out of lots of concentric circles set against this be beautiful kind of polar nebula. It's one of our most visceral and kind of engaging wow maps that we have. Yeah. It's, uh, it's getting some great feedback today on the show floor. <laughs> Excuse me. Lots of structure for you to weave in and out of, you know, so as you're dogfighting, you know, because if someone's got a missile lock on you and you go behind terrain, you can break the lock. So there's lots of like tactical yeah. use of the structure. So there's strategy behind it too, as well as just looking really cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is like, this is, um, everyone that's gone through the booth today has just been raving about it <laughs> because, uh, People are just finding themselves lost in all these structures and having a great time. It's and almost like you're in a sunken down. ship, like, you know, under, yeah. underwater. It's yeah, and you really can even get out, you can even fly out to those, like, ice asteroids in the distance, you know, fly around those, use them as cover. But it's just a really visually impressive map. We've been playtesting this in the studio for a long time. We're all really, really proud of it. You know, a lot of hard work from the level designers and the artists, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just an honor to have it, to bring it so everyone can play it for the first time today. And this is actually part of a, an up, a game update which we're bringing out next week, so I can exclusively reveal. That is the 7th of December. That's our <laughs> latest kind of free Well, that's update. coming up really just in a couple of days. Yeah. Say next week, I mean, next really, week, it's just next, like... Next Wednesday. Wow. Uh, and that's called Gate Crash. So this is like one of the main features of the great Gate Crash update. The other thing that we're bringing online, which you'll see in the booth today, is pilot customization. So there are now thousands of different combinations of you for you to customize your avatar. So we've got different helmets, different styles, different colors, different flight suits, all kinds of armor. So you know, as you're at, you, you can see this on your avatar when you're in the ship, <laughs> and you'll see it in the clone vats when you're respawning. Uh, and at the end of the, the matches, you know, you'll be kind of stood in that kind of pose beside your ship. So nice. you've got your fully customized ship and your fully customized avatar. So That's we've been really, cool. really Itching to bring can, that you online. can customize even the interior of your cockpit. Absolutely. You can get decals. Yeah. That's totally, really yeah. cool. You now, are those things that you level shots. up when you go through and you get upgrades? Yeah, yeah. You can upgrade. Like so, by earning experience through combat, you'll uh, you'll unlock uh, blueprints, which you can then craft and apply to your ships. So we have like mechanical upgrades, which alter like firepower and shields and stuff. And then we have cosmetics, which is you know the paint jobs and the decals and the interiors, as you say. That's very cool. Uh, so that's you know that's two of the big kind of features that we've got in there. The you know the third kind of big ticket item for us uh, for this content drop is uh, the PlayStation. Pro patch, which I can officially announce today for the first time as well. I know a lot of people have been asking about this on the forums. So yeah, it's 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 arriving next Wednesday. This is our first PS Pro patch, uh, and it's going to contain you know all of the things you'd expect. It's increased resolution across the board. We've turned on dynamic shadows. There's greater particle effects and faster loading times. So yeah, it's. Uh, is it running on PS4 here? At it is. Edith? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So all of our pods that are set up are all running on PS Pro. Everyone's playing this level, uh, and and they're all in kind of 
pilot customization suits. So there's some crazy kind of skull masks, and you know, there's all it's kinds. It's cool when of stuff you go over to your there. booth too, because you just yeah. see them all like lined up on the wall, all these like little pods and people in there, and they're like so intense as they're playing, <laughs> and they're just, like zoned in. But all that that just adds to it. That's yeah. so great. I mean, the feedback we've had's been incredible, because you know, it, it, when people walk past it, they just go, "Wow, yeah. I, I want to be there." You know, I want to be in that. So I think that's going to come on tour with us at every show we go to <laughs> now. It's now so you're popular. stuck. You have to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about the weapons, because there's tons yeah. of weapons. There's missiles and mortars and cannons. I mean, everywhere, yeah, all yeah. different types you can use. Absolutely, yeah. And, that, and that's something else that we're addressing with the, this latest kind of game update. We're doing a rebalance on a few of the ships as well, because we constantly balance the ships and the weapons uh, based on community feedback. So basically, you know, we're, we're tackling the heavies. We're making them a bit more tank-like with this update. Uh, so yeah, we always kind of redress the balance based on the feedback. You know, we get uh, this one's OP. It's like, right, OK, we need to go back and look at where it sits in the, in the different tech trees. But yeah, you can strap on different weapons. You can basically upgrade the shields, uh, increase your armor. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's all there. And it's all just earned by regular play. A lot of people think that, obviously, when you say competitive multiplayer, that's the only way you can rank up. That's not true. We have like a full co-op mode, which is basically the online game. Uh, and you just go in there with your buddies and you basically you can squad up or you can meet strangers, play the entire game against AI and still progress. Oh, so nice. all of the XP, all of the salvage, the silver, all of the things that you would earn in competitive multiplayer you get for playing core. And it's just, you know, to appeal to different gamer types because sure. not everyone's into competitive gaming. So we try to have something in there that's going to make everyone happy. Well, that's really great, too, because I can tell you how many times when I get online and then, like, you know, it's like your first time getting to play the game, maybe second right. time through, and you play against people that have been, like, playing it for months, and you're just like, man, yeah. I died right away. Got to give me a <laughs> chance, guys. But playing against the computer with just you and your buddies, that yeah, actually is yeah. a really nice appeal. And Definitely. it also gives you a lot of replayability. Yeah, so totally. it makes it different when you come yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And well, I mean, we've, we've got modes in there to help you as well to get you get to get better, really, like the scout mode where you just explore the levels. So you kind of get used to the levels. You look for the nooks and crannies where you can hide. You look for the there's even some hidden salvage in the scout modes oh, as well. Yeah. So you can start earning towards the economy as well. But yeah, Do you notice certain trends people play together as a team where they yeah. have like of what actually makes you win and, and progress further? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've seen a lot of like uh, a lot of squad play going on. Like when I when I get out there now at home, it's it's pretty <laughs> deadly out there sometimes because we've got like you know we have like a, a, a rating system behind that measures your skill and tries to put you in the right matches for your ability. Oh, nice. uh, and uh, you know, so I think because my account it works like you know it's quite high. So I go on go on along with some of the new PlayStation players <laughs> and I'm I'm just getting owned and I'm like right, I need to get better. I need to be a better <laughs> Gotta pilot. Go put some more hours in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Well, that is very cool. I know that there. There's a lot of people that are very excited, myself included. I'm a huge space nerd, and so the more that yeah. means that we actually like, put you in this, I mean, you can't really get much closer than that. No, it's, it's an space incredible combat. sense of immersion, yeah. Uh, and this is, like I say, this is this is like a, it's a really big deal for us to be delivering this now and, and going forward, like the, for 2017. Yeah. You know, we've got mo lots more exciting stuff to come. You know, social's going to be big for us next year. Nice. Uh, and we're trying to keep in this nice cadence of doing what we call patches and game updates. So, you know, the patches are things where we fix issues. So it's not just bug fixing, but it's balance and changing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we sneak a little feature in there if we've got it ready in time. That's nice. And then the game updates, which are the major content drops, which bring like major kind of features online. And that just helps us, you know, because we're quite a small team. It's like 40 <laughs> of us in Newcastle. Oh my gosh. You know, grinding away, trying to, uh, trying to get as that's much sweet really, stuff out as that's we can. That's really impressive. <laughs> yeah. I also love, I was checking out your guys' website, and I love how you've got like the pilot demos and like really yeah. training and like how to go through it. You're really thinking about the player and making it easy for them, as opposed to like throwing them in and saying, you know, yeah, go at it. Yeah, and I encourage, I encourage all the players to get on there and, and give us the feedback. You know, it's through the forums that we are looking at what features we develop next. We're looking at the balance and the tuning of the game. So it's, yeah, I, I advise everyone get on the website and get vocal. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And you also make mention, you know, of the fact that people were asking, oh, is it going to be paid DLC and what is this? Yeah. And you're like, no, you, you bought the game and we want to yeah. make the game content available to you. So, and so, you know, you guys have already released a bunch of things that yeah, gamers yeah. have been able to enjoy. Yeah, I great. mean, our first free uh, game update was Carrier Assault. That happened in the middle of the year, which obviously PlayStation players got immediately yes. when, they, when they came in. And that was a huge, you know, amazing, like a real tentpole kind of game feature 
adventure, you know, taking down one of these carriers. <laughs> it's just, it's an epic game mode. Uh, and then we had that, obviously, the joint strike when PlayStation came online, and that was, you know, it's just absolutely amazing. So really, really excited by the holiday season and then what's coming in 2017. It's I can't, going I from can't strength wait. to strength. I know. <laughs> and you've already mentioned so many things that you can just mention today, but yeah. we have one more. One we're more. Not, oh, we're not, yes. we're not yeah. done yet. Right. We have one more. <laughs> we have an exclusive new trailer that is just being shown for the first time Absolutely. today here on the PlayStation live stream. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Cool. I can't even imagine. I'm already looking at so much <laughs> crazy stuff. That was intense. Just when I thought you couldn't show me any more cool stuff from <laughs> Gateway, that was pretty massive with all those explosions, that epic music. Right. That's really impressive. <laughs> Yeah, very, cool. very, very proud of that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you thank for you. sharing that exclusive trailer with us and everyone here at the PlayStation Experience. PlayStation.